I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It's just wonderful to be with you again. It's a, a lovely winter's day. The sun is shining. There's not much heat in it. But uh, it's a lovely time of the year to reflect. Now, I'm sitting on top of a tree that's just been felled by some of our chainsaw operators. This tree was planted by my late dad and I over 30 years ago. Can you believe it? Where has the time gone? I want to ask you a question. Have you lost your way? Simple as that. Where are you going? What is your short-term goal? What is your long-term vision? What standard are you living by? Are you living by the standard of the world or are you living by the standard of the Bible? If we look at John chapter 14, verse 6, the Word of God says, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. Jesus is the way. There is no other way. It's total exclusiveness. Now, I know that might offend some people because I know some people who say we all serve the same God. No, we don't. No, we don't. Jesus is the way. That is why he was crucified. Because the people didn't believe him. So they killed him. But in three days, he rose from the dead. It's the only God ever to do that. And he's still alive and he's with me and with you as you're listening to this program. He says, I am the way. He says, call unto me and I will answer you. Now, if you've lost your way, what do you mean by that, Angus? Well, maybe you're just making one bad decision after the other. And you're just losing your way. You're getting more and more into debt. You cannot understand it. You're getting yourself involved in things like pornography. You're getting involved with the alcohol and maybe even having an affair. You have lost your way, sir. You're sitting there saying, no, I've got it all under control. No, you haven't. You see, our God is a holy God. Now, if you are not going to live life according to the Word of God, you're on your own. Now, to me, that's the most dangerous place to be. I heard a man once tell me, he said, I would rather go around the Cape Horn, which is the southern point of South America, where apparently the waves are bigger than these trees, okay, in a rowing boat, a rowing boat with Jesus at the helm, than to be on the luxury liner, the Queen Mary, on a calm lake with no waves without him. See, when Jesus is in your boat, with you. It cannot sink. Ask the disciples, they'll tell you, right? But when Jesus gets out of the boat, then you are lost. And that's why you've lost your way. I want to say to you, I don't have much time to speak to you. You need to get back to the Bible. You need to get back to Bible principles. I'm talking to some men who love Jesus very much. I'm talking to some men who are actually serving God. But you've lost your way, son. You've lost your first love. Your first love is not Jesus anymore. It's your ministry. You are on a downward spiral. Get back to God. Give Him your ministry. Sir, give God your family. Sir, give God your farm, your business. And you will see it will come back onto line with the Word of God. And then you cannot fail. I'm talking from experience. Not something I learned at Bible college because I never had the privilege of going to Bible college. I've learned it from the school of life, the school of hard knocks. Every time Angus Bucken got in behind the driving wheel, we went the wrong way. You've got to get out of that motor car, walk around, get into the passenger seat, and let Jesus drive, and you will get back on the right road. And you will not lose your way. I have got no time left to lose the way, because Jesus is on his way soon. And so, my dear friend, I leave you with a game plan. And here it is, the Bible. This is your blueprint. It's your, your map. It's your direction finder. Until next time, goodbye.